Rabbit, fuck. Rabbit? Yep. He ran right through this <clears throat> He ran from left to right or right to left? Yeah, they fast. <laughs> Shoot it. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. See? Bro, it's straight up. I was that's like, a jack, too. That looked like one right there. Damn, that's what they do. Sit on the edge of the bushes just like that. We might be in them now. Rabbit. Seen him? We got closer though. Yeah. Cause it was something like a, it was a blur, obviously, cause I wasn't staring at it in the top right corner of that field. But they both started moving to the left at the same time, about the same speed. So that's why I figured it's two. <laughs> cut through, cut through, cut through, cut through, cut through. He kept going straight. Cut back that way, I guess. Right to the right to the right. He big as hell. You still see him? Dude, he was so this little burn right here on my right, on just on the other side of it. I thought he was a bush. That's why I ain't even look over there. And then I heard it moving. I look up and he was going around the corner. But that's a fat ass rabbit. What you see blood? Uh, I don't even see blood, it's just flat side. Honestly, I don't know. I don't feel anything like protruding or broken. It could have hit him in. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, right there. Back of the head. Neck area.
Hey folks, I'm John Quez here with Worn Outdoors Network. In this quick tip segment, we're going to show you how to field dress a cottontail rabbit. On this segment, you'll need just a couple tools, a bag or a bucket, some sort of container to discard any uh, waste elements that you aren't going to eat like organs or uh, bones and things of that nature. You'll need you a good little sharp knife and a good pair of shears here a rabbit here little cocktail and you'll make a little incision straight across the back this way or you can just slice it if you want or you can poke through and make a little incision through the skin there and what you'll do is that little incision you want to find it and then just take and separate the skin. And I can't find mine, so we're just going to use our shears and start there. Discard that. And simply from that incision, all you're going to do is take and pull this delicate uh, rabbit skin here. You're going to pull towards the front part of the body, front half of the body, and then the rear as well all the way around on both sides so from the back all the way around until you can basically isolate the ham completely from the skin all the way down to around like that tendon at the bottom of the ankle and what I do there is I'll take my shears and just grab that um, leg bone there and kind of bend it and snap and then we have that first um, rear glute separated so now we just continue <laughs> discarded what we do is we take our shears here and make a small little incision here along the abdomen it's a mess I haven't uh, wasn't able to get over and get to my water but um, you continue that incision straight up along all the way to the ribs and you continue through the ribs and you'll cut them all the way up to the uh, top of the sternum there and you want to be careful not to press down and just kind of ride straight up and you'll take the cavity once you've made that incision and you want to continue it all the way down and be careful not to uh, cut through any uh, digestive organs and you'll take and put that in front of your organ collector and you'll stick your finger through fingers through inside the cavity there uh, just go all the way up top there towards like the esophagus and the heart and then run your fingers along the back of the spine internally all the way down 
just pushing out all of your organs and blood and things of that nature that may be that is in the cavity there it's important in this part of the process to uh, take your time don't get in a too big of a rush because you could miss something so pretty much once I have a clean carcass ready to uh, be quartered up or go in the freezer or what have you what I like to do with my varmints like rabbits stuff like that things that might taste a little bit more gamey is age it now I don't have a meat locker where I can store things like this to let it hang and age and cure so another tip cool trick that you can do is take a standard bag of ice and get you a cooler and what you'll do is put this ice in the cooler just like that and then four feet and then also you want to get you some standard table salt mix it in that ice real good and then make sure it's all throughout you'll shake it up obviously and then you'll take your meat get it all covered up in that ice real good and let that age for a few days or so depending on the size of the meat the amount of the meat stuff like that and what this does is it ages your meat and drains all of the uh, blood and all of that extra stuff that will kind of help prevent the gamey taste well as you lovely folks saw there we went rabbit hunting didn't have the best of luck a lot of rabbits were uh, basically catching wind of us before we caught wind of them uh, like and that's due to lack of wind and there's like a lot of berms and stuff out there so I mean as soon as you come around the corner rabbit but he sees you as well and you got this much of a window because there's burn 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 and they hit that gap in between you got two seconds to make that shot and we made it count one time today which is all that matters as always we appreciate you watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button for us leave us a comment we enjoy making these awesome videos for y'all we're gonna go ahead and roll that sweet succulent extra that we got dialed up for you catch you next time Thank you.